Hey guys and welcome back to another Matchday Vlog. Today not so away to crew. Five games to go, five massive games in the history of knots. It all starts with a trip to Gresty Road. Crew's home form is good, but so is Knotts' record against Crew. We recently signed Alex Palmer on an emergency loan from West Bromwich Albion. So he'll play his one and only game today. And it is a must, must win game. Come on Knotts, come on you pies. Let's do this. Right, so a few things can happen in the football pyramid today. Ipswich can be relegated and Lincoln can be promoted and they can also be champions if results go their way. Yanis, are Ipswich going down? Yes they are, sorry tractor boys. And are Lincoln going up? Yes they are. But will they be champions? I don't think they will for the games that other teams have got. So there's the verdict. I think Ipswich will go down. I think I think to be honest I think I agree to be honest. Lincoln will go up today. And they deserve, they deserve to go up, to be honest. They've been probably the best, easily the best team in the division all season. The table doesn't lie. They're probably one of the best run clubs in the country at the minute. So we're here at Keogh Services, which is actually where Top Gear filmed the start of their amphibious vehicles film. Yeah, we've, had a, we've been to Burger King, had some chicken nuggets, some fries. Not actually that far away to be honest, it was just we just really come here to waste time. But otherwise we'll get here very early. Just as I think in the service station today, wasn't it? Yeah, no other fans, so disappointing. It's the same team as normal, but with Palmer in there, obviously. And there he is, a new sign. Also, someone needs to tell crew 600 stewards that allocate that pay on the day doesn't mean it's allocated seating. So it's half time, it's crew one, not snail, it's a we deserve to be training by a goal at half time. We have been quite woeful to be honest. Our only shot on goal is a Matt Tootle volley which was well saved by Ben Garrett. Crew have had eight shots, they deserve the lead. 
it was only a matter of time to be honest the midfield was walking through I was like cheese Nicky Hunt is running at us out, out of defence bringing the ball into our half into our half Nicky Hunt 80 year old Nicky Hunt Okay then he's just missed a, missed a gorgeous opportunity to put his level he just Stead's won it back greater admins he can't miss he has like, and he has That goal is one of the shittiest goals ever. But it's just not summed up. A huge deflection. I refuse it for you to these. I'm not saying they're bad or anything, but like, come on. They're not amazing. Shot on target. Shot on target! Lots of butt 1001 in from 83 and we're getting served to this shit. He's right. Yes. That man over there is right. We came here for a point in a relegation battle. We really needed to attack. If we won, we, were, we probably would have moved out of the relegation zone. I've said it but all no. I've said it all Neil Lardy's tactics are so bad. It's, it's rubbish. We don't play attacking football at all. We need goals, we need to stay up, and he does not play attacking football at all. Just sit back every game. Yeah, there you go. He's going to be a non-league ground next season. Knowing you had to win and you set up defensively and you sit deep and you try and take a point away from home in a relegation battle. It's disgraceful, it's absurd. What, what even is the point? You need to win games to stay up and you set up defensively. And we played into Cruz hands, played into Cruz hands all game. We sat back, let them play. We let them play their passing style of play. We know we we, we should know what to expect from Crew. They have one style of play. They play passing style of foot. They play passing football. And we were inadequately. I can't even pronounce the word. Inadequate. You know what I mean. Inadequately prepared for the game. These are massive games now in our club's history. And to put in performances like that is just, it's pathetic. There's no, absolutely no sign of a game plan whatsoever. We were just, against Stevenage, against Stevenage, we got the ball down in the, in the final third. Tried to play football, the midfield controlled the game today. It was just guess, hope for the best. Get it forward and hope something like falls falls. You can't be doing that in a relegation battle. When you're bottom of the league, you can't be doing it. And it's made for another miserable weekend. We are on the brink. Uh, we, we got so much hope from the performances against Stevenage and Northampton. And then we go and produce that. We go and produce that performance. Like, 
there was no fight, let's be honest, there was no battle, any sort of thing. There was no, you know, it was a bad performance and usually there might, and sometimes there might be you no know, one stand-up performance. Everybody was woeful. It's just a really sad situation. And it's, it's just four games to go now and it's just getting nearer now. The, it, it's 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 almost inevitable. We like I said, like I've said already, we sat back. There was no game plan. We let crew um, play the, you know, play their usual passing style of football. Didn't get didn't get at them at all. We weren't physical enough. And to be fair to crew, they sh they they are an example. They they shown. You know, you can play passing football in League 2. It was so simple as well. It was so simple as well. Pass. For, uh, pass. Take a touch. Pass it again. Take take another touch. Pass it again. Pass, move. Pass, move. So simple. But why can't... Why can't other... Why can't we do it? Why... why we... We recruited in January so we could make sure we have, like, pacing behind and we can play some, you know, all right passing football. We just hoofed it to Stead and hoped for the best today. And Stead won one flick on. And when he did, the crew player didn't really even challenge for the ball. He just let him win it. And and then um, Craig McHale Smith didn't even really even get on the flick on. Hemmings missed the sitter. If he scored that, the game would have changed. Nicky Hunt took the piss out of us today. Nicky Hunt. He couldn't get in our team last season. And today he didn't break a sweat. He took the piss out of Knotts. Michael O'Connor who we offered a 40% wage 40 um, wage cut to in the summer. He got promoted today. He did. We, we um, gave his wage and even more to David Vaughan. What's David? I'm not blaming Vaughan for today, but there you go. That just says something about our club. Michael O'Connor, we offered a wage. We offered a um, less money than he was already on. Rejected it, obviously. Went to Lincoln, won promotion. We brought David Vaughan in to replace him. What's he done? He's done nothing. That looked like a team that had pretty much been... They looked like they'd accepted relegation. And a word for the fans. We're taking over a thousand to crew again. We're, we're bottom of the league and we're taking a thousand away from home. Why is it like this? Why, why, why do we have to get treated to so much, so much crap every, every weekend? The thing is, no matter, and this was a, a, a good point made to me on the coach on the way back. No matter how big your fan base is, you can get behind the team as much as as much as possible, and we have done that this season. We have got behind the team constantly. You you can get behind the team all, and we and we've done it in, fantastically this season. But at, at the end of the day, it matters about it. Ma the ta it's down to the manager, the tactics, and the players. And if they're not right at all, then you set you're setting yourself up for failure. And this season and many seasons before, the three things I've said, manager, tactics and players, have not been good enough. It's just all combined into one massive shambles this season. And I know it's not over. I know Macclesfield lost. I know Yeovil lost. And the gap's still two points. But it just feels like that is it after today because it was just, it was woeful. It was truly pathetic. Crew didn't even have to be a hundred percent for their win. It was reminiscent of games pre uh, earlier, previous in the earlier in the season when teams didn't have to work hard for their three points against us. It's a really sad situation. We got four massive games. I just, I, I'm, it, can we pull off a miracle? I hope so, but I can't see it. If you've enjoyed the vlog, give it a like, comment down below your thoughts on the game. 
Say subscribe if you're subscribed, subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, toosh.